Paano kung magkasakit ka? Mas magastos ang magkasakit ng walang card. Paano kung di sapat ang ipon mo? Hello everyone, I'm Roan Celis Capistrano of One Million Club. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated. Ang topic natin ngayon is about Kaiser 3-in-1 Investment. Ang Kaiser ay tinatawag na 3-in-1 dahil sa Kaiser, meron ka ng healthcare, meron kang life insurance for 20 years, at meron ka na rin ditong investment. Merong tinatawag na complete financial plan, the three major financial needs. Kailangan natin ng healthcare. Bakit? Kasi paano kung magkasakit ka? Mas magastos ang magkasakit ng walang card. Paano kung di sapat ang ipon mo? Kagaya ng brother ko, namatay siya, nasa almost 240,000 ang hospital bill niya. Buti na lang naturuan ko siyang mag-ipon at may Kaiser din siya. Kasi kung hindi, kami ang magbabayad ng hospital bill niya dahil namatay na siya. What if our family can't take care of us? Napaka-importante na may health care ka, lalo na kung ikaw ay breadwinner. Second, kailangan din natin ng life insurance, lalo na kung breadwinner ka or ikaw ang inaasahan ng pamilya mo. Paano kung may mangyari sa'yo? Paano kung may dependents ka? Who will take care of your family? Sino ang sasagot sa mga naiwan nating responsibility sa pamilya? And third, kailangan din natin ng investment. What if you stop working? Hindi naman habang buhay, malakas tayo at maganda ang kita natin. Kanino ka aasa pagtanda mo? Would you plan to be a burden to your family? Ang hirap isipin na magiging pabigat ka sa pamilya mo. Kung meron kang investment, malaking tulong yun kapag ikaw ay nag-retire. Yung iba sasabihin, Miss Roan, hindi ko naman alam yung Kaiser. Hindi ko ngayon nakikita sa TV. Ang Kaiser po ay meron ng mga clinic sa mga SM and Robinson's Mall. Merong clinic ang Kaiser sa Makati, Robinson's Galleria, Robinson's Manila. Meron na rin tayo sa SM North Edsa, Cavite, SM Santa Rosa, SM San Pablo, at meron na rin tayong Kaiser Clinics sa Cebu, sa Mactan, SM Seaside Cebu, and SM City Cebu. To know more about Kaiser, pwede mong bisitahin ang website ng Kaiser sa www.kaiserhealthgroup.com. Makikita mo na rin sa website yung mga accredited na clinics and hospitals. At ang brand ambassador ng Kaiser ay si Ms. Sharon Cuneta Pangilinan. Sabi niya nga, kahit maputi na ang buhok mo, may Kaiser para sa'yo. Ang medical director ng Kaiser ay si Doktora Lea Uy Yolo. Ito po siya. Active officer po siya ng FAMOC. Ibig sabihin niyan, Philippine Association of Health Maintenance Organization Companies. Para mas maintindihan mo yung Kaiser 3-in-1 Investment, ididiscuss natin yung mga benefits during accumulation period, extended period, maturity, and long-term care period. First, during the accumulation period, ito yung first 7 years ng plan, Meron kang hospitalization or inpatient benefits. In case na kailangan mong makonfine sa hospital, meron kang Kaiser na magagamit. Meron ka ding free annual physical exam and free dental benefits every year po yan na magagamit mo during the first 7 years. Ano ba yung annual physical exam or APE coverage? Ito yung tinatawag na basic 5. Physical examination, chest x-ray, Routine Fecalysis, Routine Urinalysis, and CBC. ECG for members above 35 years old and Pap smear for female members above 35 years old. Para naman sa dental benefits, meron kang unlimited dental checkups, unlimited simple tooth extraction, once a year free dental prophylaxis, resementation of jacket, and minor adjustment of dentures. 
Sa Kaiser, meron ka ding 20-year life insurance. Waiver of installment due to death or disability. Anong ibig sabihin nito? During the first 7 years, kung may nangyari sa'yo or na-disable ka, hindi mo na kailangan bayaran yung natitirang balanse dahil waive na. Ngayon, ano naman yung mga benefits mo during the extended period? Ito yung after mong magbayad ng 7 years, ano naman yung mga benefit mo during the 8th to 20th year? Meron ka pa rin hospitalization or inpatient benefits. Ito yung in case na makonfine ka, meron kang Kaiser card na magagamit. During the extended period, covered na ang consultation or yung tinatawag na outpatient benefit. Covered na rin ang maternity, pre-existing illnesses, and dreaded diseases. At meron ka na rin investment. Take note na yung benefit and 10% compounding interest ng investment mo will be based on plan type. Kaya the higher the plan type, the higher the benefit, and the higher the investment. Next is yung maturity. After 20 years, ano nang nangyari sa Kaiser mo? Good as cash na yan. Pwede mo nang i-withdraw yung maturity value. Marireceive mo na rin yung long-term care benefit. Ito yung base sa plan type mo. Again, the higher the plan type, the higher the long-term care benefit. Sa Kaiser, kapag hindi mo nagamit yung healthcare mo during the first 7 years, meron kang bonus. Ito yung 70% to 85% of premium. Ibibigay sa'yo ang bonus on the maturity. Magbibigay ako ng sample para makita nyo yung benefit sa Kaiser. Ang sample ko is for age 30. For an annual premium of 30,000, meron kang term insurance or life insurance na 225,000. Dahil 7 years to pay ang Kaiser, 30,000 times 7 years equals contract price of 210,000. Maturity value is 583,000. Ito naman yung value after 20 years. Income is 373,000. Paano nakuha ang income? Maturity value of 583,000 minus yung binayad mong 210,000 equals 373,000. Kung kukumputin mo yung rate, 177% yung total na kinita mo or 8.8% per year. Siyempre, mas malaki yung plan type or mas malaki yung premium na binabayaran natin, mas malaki yung maturity value at mas malaki yung income. Kung target mo makaipon ng 1 million in 20 years, pwede ka mag-start sa Kaiser. Kasi ang Kaiser, 60,000 per year, 7 years mo lang babayaran, after 20 years may 1.1 million ka na. Pero kapag nag-ipon ka lang ng 60,000, hindi mo ininvest yan, after 16 years, 960,000 lang yan. 16 years kang mag-iipon. Dito, 7 years lang. Kasi naka-invest yung pera mo. Ang maganda sa Kaiser, after maturity or after 20 years, pwede mo pang ituloy ang Kaiser mo. Yun ang tinatawag na long-term care period. Kung ano man yung fund na iniwan mo sa Kaiser after 20 years, meron yung 10% compounding interest per year. Para mas maintindihan mo, meron tayong sample. Ang sample natin, nag-start yung plan holder at the age of 30 sa Kaiser. Kung ang annual premium ay 30,000, ang maturity value niyan ay 583,000. Kung hindi pa rin kunin ng plan holder to on the maturity, on the 21st year, may 10% yan, kaya kikita yan ng 58,000. 10% of 583,000. Kung hindi pa rin kunin yung mga interest, at the age of 60 dahil nagko-compound yan, ang projection ay 1.5 million. Pwede yung 10% na kinikita ng Kaiser plan mo, yun ang winiwithdraw mo. So, nagiging money working for you na ang Kaiser mo. E paano kung mataas na plan pa yung kinuha mo, 60,000 per year? Ang maturity value niyan is 1.1 million. Pag age ng 60, 
kung nag-start ka at the age of 30, meron kang 3 million at kung kikita yan ng 10% per year, meron kang 300,000 na passive income, 25,000 a month na income yun. Kung gusto mo mag-start sa Kaiser, nandito yung mga pagpipilian mo sa premium. Ang Kaiser ay pwede sa edad 10 hanggang 60 years old. For ages 10 to 40, ang minimum plan is K45. Ang annual premium is 26,470. Kung monthly naman, 2,647. Kung ang age mo is 41 to 50, hindi ka na pwede sa K45 and K50. Ang minimum plan na para sa iyo is K60. Ito yung 35,293 per year or 3,529 per month. At kung edad 51 to 60 ka na, hindi ka na pwede sa tatlong plan. K75 na ang minimum plan para sa iyo. 44,116 per year or 4,412 per month. Sa Kaiser, pwede ka magbayad ng annual, semi-annual, quarterly, monthly, or spot cash. Spot cash means one-time payment. Binayaran mo na agad ng buo yung Kaiser. Ang advantage kapag spot cash, 25% less ang babayaran compare sa monthly mode of payment. Kapag spot cash din, mas mataas ang maturity value by 12.7%. To request Kaiser Proposal, check the link below or go to bit.ly slash Kaiser Proposal para ma-review mo yung benefits na based na sa edad mo at sa budget mo. Kapag tayo ay employed, usually meron tayong benefits sa kumpanya na tinatawag na short-term healthcare. From 20 years old to 60 years old, covered tayo during our productive years. Meron tayong health care. Kapag tayo ay nag-edad ng 61 pataas, during our retirement years, of course, mas kailangan natin ng health care. Pero kabaligtaran, wala na tayong health care coverage during this period. Kaya dito na papasok yung need natin for Kaiser Investment. Kasi sa Kaiser, even beyond 60 ka na, pwede ka pang magkaroon ng healthcare. Napaka-importante rin ng Kaiser para ma-build natin yung solid financial foundation natin. Dahil sa Kaiser, meron na tayong short-term and long-term healthcare. Meron tayong life insurance for 20 years. In case of emergency, may magagamit tayong card. And meron din tayong investment. Kung hindi naman tayo nagkakasakit, nagko-compound yung investment natin sa Kaiser. Sabi nga ni Jack Ma, buying insurance cannot change your life but it prevents your lifestyle from being changed. An illness can wipe up an entire family's savings that they have saved for decades by the medical bills. You will not turn bankrupt because of buying insurance but you will cause your loved ones to turn bankrupt if you don't. Kahit ano man ang estado natin sa buhay, we keep working. But we keep forgetting, we seem to forget that health is the real wealth. Kasi you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Ang mas nananailangan yung mga lalong nahihirapan. Kung kaya naman nilang maghulog ng paunti-unti, basta meron kanya, may protection ka. Kasi baka yung kinikita mo hindi sapat sa pambili ng gamot. Marami nakakasakit, mga anak, di ba, o ikaw mismo. Lalo kung ikaw yung breadwinner, nagtatrabaho ka para sa pamilya mo, tapos bigla ka nagkasakit, paano na yung pamilya mo? At kahit nga anong estado, it's one thing off your list ang aalalahanin. Kahit ako, di ba? So, that's why it's important to have it. Kasama ko ang Kaiser, kahit maputi na ang buhok ko. May Kaiser health card ka na ba? Sharon Cuneta po, para sa Kaiser. To know more about Kaiser, savings and investment, or online business, visit www.1millionclub.com. You may also email me at roan.capistrano at gmail.com. And you may also contact me at 926 800 You may also leave your comment below if you have any questions.